It's a soggy night at Fratton Park where the stakes could not be higher. Portsmouth just eight points away from clinching promotion. They might be there already. Derby trying to put pressure on the leaders and open up a gap between themselves and the chasing pack. This is the real one. Top versus second. Here we go then. Derby in the black and white. Get us underway. It's, it's OK for Derby to not go too aggressive in the opening. Wildsmith looked as though he carried the ball out of his area there. Again, I think the condition's not helping the Derby keeper. He tries to spin the ball back. We'll see it again from this angle. Colby Bishop will be a threat as well. Abu Kamara and Molong pack both over it. By Kamara. And Wildsmith redeems himself. A good save from Wildsmith. Has to drop back quickly and get a good palm on it to force it over the top. Adams with a tackle. Now it's Blackett Taylor. That's a nice move. Ward is in space to the right. Here is Joe Ward. Chance for Derby here! A first Derby County goal for Joe Ward against the leaders of Fran Park. 2000 in black and white go wild. And as it lands to his right foot, nobody doubted that he would have the quality to hit the back of the net. Blackett Taylor steps into the space, finds the pass. Ward, hard and low across goal, brilliant finish for a brilliant goal for Derby. Timing of the run, timing of the pass, hard and low, it goes between the legs of Norris and hits the back of the net. Get in front of Evans and prevent that pass in the midfield. It's wide to Rafferty instead. And flicked on, lovely bit of play, great chance here. Well, it's a wonderful equaliser. First off, Erin Cashin goes fishing for that ball. It looks like he might have drifted slightly off Kamara. And then Curtis Nelson has to force him wide. He allows him to come inside the pitch. And he gets himself in a 1v1. It's brilliant play from Bishop. Little back heel comes inside the pitch. Kamara. Cashin's ball forward. Collins has won it. Support from Ward. He's already got one. He'll try for a second. Oh, and he's got one. What a night for Joe Ward. He doubles up and restores Derby's lead. What a first half at Bratton Park. There might have been a slight deflection. It doesn't matter. James Collins steps in, plays it into Ward. 25 yards out. There is a deflection from Ogilvy. It goes away from the goalkeeper into the far corner. Ashen. Mendes Lang. Is the break on for Derby? No, it's not. Because there is uh, a visitor on the field. Rafferty, chance to put the ball in the box, which he does. Missed by Wildsmith. Chance here for Sadie! Which he surely had to take. It's a wonderful ball from Rafferty. Joe Wildsmith comes off his line and doesn't get there. And as it skips off the surface, the technique is all about keeping it down, even if you hit the ball onto the ground. For the run of Sadie. Derby have it with Blackett Taylor. First chance for him to run in the second half, and run he will. Shoot he will too. He had the right to take the shot on as well. Great work down that left-hand side. At this point, he cuts inside onto his favourite right foot, and he has the right so well to get onto that ball. Now Sadie, wrong side of Cashin, still going Sadie. Good save by Wildsmith, who was strong in his front post. Henry Cashin lets Sadie get the wrong side of him here. He needs to stay goal side, tries to win the first ball. Sadie just gets his body in the way and Cash can't recover. That's a brilliant save from Joe. Yep. Boxing, away from Collins, goes for goal and finds it. Portsmouth had been pressing, they had been building, and for the second time tonight, they've equalised. It's a wonderful, wonderful strike. 
got through Anderin somehow. Adams hits it. The save that Norris has had to make in the second half. A good strike from Adams, especially when it bounces off the surface, because you never know where it's going to go. He lands on the first ball. The throw goes Derby's way. Surely that is time up. It is time up. It's a point for Derby at Fratton Park. The gap between them and leaders Portsmouth will stay at five points on a really entertaining, intriguing battle between the top two.